analysts were waiting on Zoom after the bell today. Uh, what are your thoughts here? We have the work from home plays and a market that seems to be going back and forth right now. I think the market's been very choppy. I understand that we had a rally that week of the election, but that was really a month ago now. And today's the last day of November, and I think overall November was a tough month to get any traction to the upside or to the downside in the overall market. Uh, we just didn't seem to go anywhere. We flirted with the highs, and then we would drop, and then we never really fell the days that we gapped down. For example, today we gapped down and we fell, but then now we're pushing back, and it looks like we're trying to go green now on the day. Does that mean tomorrow we're going to open higher? Uh, it remains to be seen. So I think really the market needs to break out of this range. What I'd like to see is a gap up over the high, break out and with some follow through. Remember when the vaccine information came out that there's two vaccines? This was several weeks ago, right after the election. It was the week after the election. It came out and it was good news. The market gapped up to new highs, but had a big, massive sell off. What I'd like to see is some follow through with that, which we didn't see that particular day. I think it was November 9th. It was the Monday after the election. If we do not do that, if we cannot do that, then this December is going to be a very choppy month, similar to November. Really, I'd like to see some kind of trading action above the highs, or if not, a big sell-off. Let's just get it. Let's just get the shake out then. If we're going to sell off, if we're going to drop, if we're not going to go over the high, if we're going to have a sell-off into the end of the year, then let's just do it, get it over with, so the market can get bought again and continue higher. Because I do think there's good news in reference to these vaccines coming out uh, which hopefully will slow down all of these lockdowns that are going across now and being put back into place in many states across the country, because really they're hurting uh, many, many of the industries, except for the Zoom, which, which is out tonight. Right. Um, so that's right. So Zoom is tonight. Are you a fan from some of these names? Before I get to names like Amazon, um, are you a fan of any of these work from home names or not really because they've run up so much? The fact that they've run up so much really doesn't bother me because we're really still in this process of COVID. And again, many of these states, Pennsylvania, uh, New York, California, they've gone back now really into second lockdowns. If you want to want to call it a second lockdown here in New York, we really never fully opened up. Now, they just came out again. They're going to continue the schools. They're going to open up the schools after they close them in New York next week. All of these things leave a level of uncertainty for people where they're going to continue, I think, to work from home until... I'd say probably the next couple of months until not only is the vaccine out, but it's also widely spread by the people that want to take it. Me personally, I'm not going to be taking the vaccine. Have I used Zoom? No. I work from home. I've been really, really lucky and blessed that I work for myself and own my own company. I work from home. So nothing much is going to change for people that, that are able to work from home. <laughs> I've been going into the earnings tonight with Zoom. What I want to see is uh, over 500. I'll be thrilled and will want to go long over 500 in the Zoom if that happens tonight and holds tomorrow morning. I think that's a great buy in the way that this stock can move. This stock can run up 20, 30 points in a day. It can run up like that. It's gotten really a big run up, but it doesn't mean that it can't stop. It could certainly keep going. And I, like right. I said, I don't think we're going to necessarily run back into the office uh, come January 1st. People are still going to continue to work from home. People are still going to continue to use Zoom. Well, tell me about some of the other names. I know that you had uh, Amazon and Lowe's as names that you were watching. Are those names that you like right now? I like Zoe's Lowe's Zower. I like Lowe's Zower lower uh, because I think Lowe's had a bad earnings report. So to me, Lowe's fell today, gapped down today, and looks like it's going to have some nice follow through. And if Lowe's breaks 150, that would be really the area to watch where it could start to crater. So Lowe's is lower for me, even though they've, they've had a nice move, even though people are doing the home improvements during COVID, it didn't have good earnings. It didn't have a react, good reaction to the earnings. So I like that stock lower. Uh, the Amazon fell today and had a big move this morning too. One of the problems with that is you say, okay, well, we had the Black Friday. We're having the Cyber Monday. Amazon has benefited from the COVID. It had a nice run up. That's one of the ones that ever since the earnings on that stock, it has not been able to push up over the high. You had the market make brand new all-time highs in some of the indices, not the QQQs, but the SPY and the diamonds, and you didn't have Amazon. And you say, wait a minute, this is one of the major market movers. You're always, people are always looking at tech, 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 tech. They want to buy them, they want to buy them. You know what, where's Amazon? It seems to be lagging. And it's really ever since their earnings right. on that which was more than a month ago. So I don't 
think that this is a great placement to buy Amazon here this month, unless something changes where it starts to go cohesive with the market. Because remember, if the market doesn't go over the high and if the market breaks lower, Amazon is gonna just tank because it's already been trading in a tighter range in the market. And that stock can, that stock can drop 100 points in a day. Right. No, I understand what you're talking about. And then I know that there's other areas that you're watching, real estate, banks and airlines. Um, we've had a lot of calls on the airlines today. Is there anything within real estate, banks or airlines that you are watching most closely that you think there could be some opportunities going forward? As far as going long, not yet in the airlines, because we want to wait and see what happens with the stimulus. If there's another round of layoffs, with the airlines, which there could be towards the end of 2020, if they don't get help with stimulus, then it's going to be problematic. And people that have bought into them, that bought in the dip since the rally that they've had since March are, 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 are going to regret or want to take profits in those. I wouldn't buy those right now. I'd wait to see what's happening with that. But it remains to be seen if Congress is going to pass stimulus to help them or not. Otherwise, there's probably going to be more layoffs. Even though it's holiday season and people are traveling, people are still very shy about traveling right now. Uh, there's a lot of anxiety, like I said, about COVID. Going into 2021, maybe more opportunity in the airlines. By then, we should have stimulus passed. By then, the vaccine will be more widespread. I think that's a better opportunity to look for longs in those stocks in 2021. Until then, there's still many of them are still in downtrends and are shorts. As far as uh, the banks go, they had a lift with the SPY when the SPY ran up to new highs with the, with the COVID vaccine. However, Come the end of 2020, remember that deadline looms for January 1st for foreclosure, the foreclosure moratorium and for rents. You could see some uh, loans going bad uh, towards the end of this year, and that will affect the banks. 